In Hays, a number of displaced families face the danger of eviction as they did not pay rent. This comes amid shortage of cash grants provided by the international organizations. This report has more details. These people left their homes and villages because of the war, hoping that they would find a shelter for themselves. But they found this place and settled in it, waiting for the unknown that will come. Today, the displaced of a Saba camp in Hais, south of Hodeida, are threatened with expulsion despite the fact that they sleep on the ground, wrap themselves under the skies, and suffer with their children and families in silence. The owner of this land is asking us for rent. How are we supposed to pay him or get this money while we can't even provide food for our families? Only God knows how we're suffering here during this hard time. We're living here not knowing what we're going to eat the next day. The state of our tents is very bad and we're hardly living in it. Now, the owner of this land is saying either we pay rent or we leave our tents. The humanitarian organizations are not intervening. They are not doing anything about it. The authorities should provide us with the land so we can live on it. Whenever suffering arises for these poor people, we hear useless justifications from the concerned authorities. Despite the fact that the displaced in Hays have been struggling for years and have not found a camp to shelter them and alleviate their suffering. The number of the displaced people here is around 5,000 individuals. We are discussing the current issue and we're looking for a proper location to provide a land to the displaced people to place their tents on. We are also coordinating between the local authorities and the humanitarian organizations to conduct field surveys in an attempt to target the displaced families and the poor people who are in severe need. A lot of promises that the displaced do not know when they will be fulfilled. Hopes that continue to evaporate in the Yemeni citizens who are living in displacement and do not know how it will end. With the conscience of the humanitarian organizations and the executive unit for the affairs of the displaced in Hodeida wake up to save these miserable people seeking to provide all their needs and alleviate their suffering.